We continue our reading of God's Dream for You, the Chosen, a morning devotional by author Dwight K. Nelson. Today's reading, August 25, Journeying with the Jews, Part 6. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. John 1, 11 and 12. There is a question that begs to be asked. If there were a remnant community to preserve and propagate God's corpus of truth at the beginning of the salvation story, would it not follow that the same God who raised up the first remnant would also raise up a last remnant community to preserve and propagate those very same truths at the end of the story? The apocalypse is clear. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Revelation twelve seventeen. God will have a remnant to end the story. Who are they? Portions of all eleven of the tenets of divine truth can be found in communities of faith the world over. But there is only one faith community that embraces all eleven, centering them all in Jesus Christ, the great summation of all divine revelation. They, too, are his chosen people. Not because they are greater than the rest, Israel wasn't, nor will they be. But God, in his sovereign grace and providence, raised them up as inheritors of ancient Israel's remnant legacy. To share the glad and urgent tidings of these divine truths with an end time world. The book ends match. But that reality is a two-edged sword. For while there is cause to rejoice in the legacy of divine truth and reason enough to be grateful for its possession, if truth indeed can be possessed, there is an inherent warning as well. Our text declares that Christ was rejected by his own remnant community. Apparently, intellectual possession of truth is no guarantee of salvation or validation of the chosen. It is only to those who receive him personally that membership in the family of God is extended. Personal relationship trumps all. In one of his last games, Babe Ruth was having a terrible day on the field. In one inning alone, his errors were responsible for five runs by their opponents. The fickle crowd booed the aging star as he walked off the field, head down. Suddenly, a small boy leaped onto the field and with tears ran to hug his hero. The Babe scooped up the boy, tossed him in the air and ruffled his hair and the two walked hand in hand to the dugout. Suddenly the booing stopped, and a hush fell over the park. Why? Because they saw a hero who, in spite of a dismal day, still cared for a little boy. In the end, you see, it is a relationship that makes all the difference in the world. This concludes our reading today of God's dream for you, the Chosen.